Today we have a 2006 Volkswagen Beetle. It's got the 2.5 motor in it. Uh, it's got a check engine light. It's a PO118, uh, which happens to be your coolant temp sensor. And what it is is the car is actually sometimes it doesn't want to start. It puffs uh, blue smoke. It doesn't idle well, and the fan is always on. So we're going to show you where that is located and how to replace it. This is your Volkswagen uh, five-cylinder. It's a 2.5 motor. Um, the coolant temp sensor happens to be located right down here so what we're gonna do is take this off right here just push this together pop that off take these you want to be careful not to hit that while you're squeezing these push that down like that take this one move it up and we should be able to move the snorkel tube out of the way so we can get at it better and there's also one right here you got to squeeze same thing squeeze it push it in pop it off like that and then we should be able to pull this off move this out of the way like that and now you can get right at it right there a lot of times they're held down by like a 10 millimeter or something like that um, it's easier I can probably unplug it easier when I get it up here so this clip right here holds it and you could put a screwdriver in there but I'm thinking I'm just gonna pull it out with my fingers and definitely try not to drop it Okay, I'll have to get a screwdriver because it's not just popping out far enough. You're going to want to get your fingers underneath it and then take a screwdriver, put it right there, and just pop that out like that, that clip. Now we should be able to wiggle this thing and it should pull right out. And you're going to lose a little coolant, so have a jug or something under it, but you shouldn't lose a lot. So that's all we lost, so we didn't lose a ton. Now you have to get this, a screwdriver in there, and listen for it to click. It goes back like that. Now you should be able to push it down and it should release nice and easy. I'm told with the Volkswagen, the green ones are actually a better quality unit. Uh, so we got that. You can see it's a four prong. They had a two prong or a four prong. We got that. We want to make sure that our gasket's on it and it's ready to install. You got that part right there. It's got to go into it. Push that on like that and then push that down to click just like that. So it's locked in place. Now you want to go down in here like I said, this has got that rubber. You wanna make sure the old one came out so there's nothing in there. Because if you have two rubbers in there, then it won't uh, properly seal. So you take this, we're gonna push that down into place and then get that clip and lock it in. You wanna make sure that the orientation is the same way that you had it. It has a little slope going down, so it's like that. Push this into place and just lock it like that. And that should keep it from coming out. Next thing we do is going to put this in, snap this one on the bottom back in place. Get that over there, get that closer, you click that in place. Put that one in place, wiggle this one on like that, and make sure this is in place. Okay, they're all in place, that's in, you hear it click. Get your fingers in there hopefully, click that one, you heard that click. Get a pair of players. Put that in place. Last thing we do is move this in place. Okay, so everything's done. And that's all it takes to install a coolant temperature sensor and a 2006 Volkswagen Beetle with a 2.5 motor.